right so a while back i have made a video where i am explaining how to make stacking cards containers i think i call it stack containers but that was on crawl up today we are going to be doing something similar but in reverse if you've tried that pretty cool kudos to you but if you didn't then stay tuned because i have seen something like this on a website and it looks amazing and i'll link or i will link the, the website down below and i will also put it here and it just triggered my inspiration i got so st stuck into the the first way of doing things i show in that video that i'm also linking down in the description below there are other ways of doing things so let's get into it all right so last time i talked about this video was a while back as i said and this is the effect or the feature that we made so basically as you scroll the containers stack up and then as you continue scrolling they go all together up and basically this is the same i don't know why i did this but yeah anyway so this is what uh we did in that video now this is what we want to do in this one so basically the containers would reveal it themselves as you scroll they would not stack but they would reveal what's underneath so you scroll and you have the next one and then the next one and you can continue adding more and more if you want and of course this adds an extra interest to whatever you are trying to convey the message that you're trying to convey in these containers and i'm using something like this on a current project and the client was really blown away so actually i'm using this feature but i wanted to do this one as well and i was trying to figure out how <laughs> it's so easy so let's go into this container and let's see what is happening here i'm not gonna go into styling because you can watch the previous video i think i'm explaining this there and yes they do this works on um, mobile as well so no worries you can do it all right as you can see we have the z, z index set to three and if we go to the next one the z index is set to two and the next one z index is set to one and let's go to the first one let's go to all the way to motion effects and as you can see we have the offset set to 350 and it's going to stay in column and the next one let's go to the next one is set to 100 and the next one to 150 these are honestly not that important you can delete so let's see what happens if we delete all this for some reason it sets automatically the offset to three no idea why this two i think by the needs to be zero and this one needs to be zero let's go to this one and set it to zero by default basically all right so let's publish and let's go and have a look and see how this is behaving all right so as you can see our image slides um, our container slides in and then the next container and then the next container but they start here at the bottom so the way we fix that is basically setting our effects offset so the uh, our offset so we could say around 300 and it goes all the way in the middle of the page and i'm not sure i like that to be honest or yeah we could go all the way to 200 i think 200 is okay and we can do the same thing with the next one and say 200 so let's publish and have a look so basically you scroll and you come all the way here and then you have this and then this i think it's pretty cool yeah i like it 
So if you want it to be lower, you decrease the amount of uh, offset or increase it if you want it to start higher up. So that's a very easy and super cool way to add a little feature to any boring website. <laughs> so there you go. And if you'd like to see what else you can make with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time.